you know that God can't work in your life if you are not happy? How many of you know that? Are you aware that God can work in your life unless you are happy? That's why, that's why the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. Why? Because when, when I'm happy, I am able to render praises to him. And that scripture becomes fulfilled that God inhabits the praises of his children. Now, I can't praise him if I am not happy. And now the devil wants to make us think that the more I ponder about my problem and the more I worry about my problem and the more I compare myself to other people and the more I am aware of other people's situations, that's how God gets to see and to hear me. And we don't know that at that point, the God, God does not even hear you. Talk less of paying attention to you. Well, well he sees you. Abby. <laughs> Remember he said, in all things, give thanks. And he also said, you must make your request known through what? Thanksgiving. And the devil makes us to be those kind of Christians, Malumi, who blackmails God via his word. You said in your word, just because you said, you will provide all my needs. You are providing my needs today. You are blackmailing God. Bring your petition with thanksgiving to him. Meaning, I don't have provision that I'm looking for. Father, I thank you for my provision. Therefore, I am not so much worried, or I am not rather worried about what? My situation. Somebody once asked me a question and said, even when things are bad, you don't look worried. I said, because I've noticed, even if I can worry, there's nothing I will do about it. Remember the woman who lost her son? Right? The woman who lost her son and met the man of God at the gate of the village going to bury her son. Because God didn't allow. That's why she met the man of God. If God had allowed, she wasn't going to meet Elisha at the gate. She was going to bury her son. And that would be the end of it. But because there's a purpose, what am I saying to you? That situation you fight, you are inside. You see the one that you are failing to sleep at night. You, you see the one that when you think of, you are like, hey, Jehovah Jireh, God. Hi. This one that is making you to start from Machonisa to Standard Bank to FNB to Capfin to Ackermans to Pep Store, looking for a loan to Patella Skoloto, Sam Masimon. The very same problem. God is very much aware of it. God is just waiting for you to say, God, this one is your own wahalao. My own is to trust you. I eat my bab and I sleep. Because look, even after you have stressed, you have prayed, you have quoted Bible and scripture on top of it. Eh? Tomorrow when you wake up in the morning, is your problem gone? Eh, answer me now. Is your problem gone? Eh, Biko, answer me. Is your problem gone? Eh, so why are you killing yourself? Well, I don't finish you. Problems don't end. As long as you're a child of God, your problems will never come to an end. The minute you start living a life where there are no problems as a child of God, my dear, just know you are no longer in the right track. You are no longer. Let's find our way back to Jesus together. Let's, let's find our way back. That's why the Bible says, tomorrow we'll worry about it. Tomorrow we'll do what? Tomorrow we'll do what? Tomorrow we'll worry about itself. Why? Because every day there's enough grace, enough provision for it. So this one that you are killing yourself with problems of today, how will God hmm, bring forth his manifestation over your life in the next coming couple of weeks? Because you'll be dead already. Hmm? Can we learn to trust God more? Can, can, can we learn to trust God more? 
tell your neighbor, are you hearing what she's saying? Are you sure you are hearing me? Can we learn to trust God more? Can we? Eh? David said, since I was young, now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Or his children begging for what? For bread. Now let me give you an example. True life testimony. Right? True story. There was a point in our family where you, I know now when I say we used to stay in the shack, everybody goes like, ha. Ah. There was no food. Hmm? There was no food. That's when I learned that food does not define you. God himself defines you. And God is aware of your situation. But if you can be happy. Daddy once said it one day. That day they just decided. They, now I was still young. This thinking thing was just not. No. They decided to sing the song. Randomly from nowhere. From nowhere. A certain young man. Just came in. Just came in. Nobody called him. Nobody asked him. Nobody told him. But then that makes me to be to know and to confirm to myself, Hori, whatever the situation is, God is aware of it. Just believe God with your situation. Hi, one. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, hi, one. That, that thing that, that is troubling you so much, you just step away from it and say, God, and you walk away from it. You stay in his presence. You stay in his word. You, re you rejoice. You become happy. As if that problem doesn't exist. I, I, know, I know your kids are troubling you right now. Oh yeah? You, you have a, a, a headache. There's a technique my mother uses. Once she sees that she has spoken to you and you're not changing, she keeps quiet. Are you hearing me, Mama? I'm now talking to you. She keeps quiet. And, and, and the thing is this. It's no longer my mother's voice or words that will bug me. It's now the silence that will deal with me. I know as a parent it's not easy to just to sit down and read. I don't know how my mom does it, but she does. And she's good at it. She just goes, okay. Okay. You're like... Ma, I said I'm going. She said, I had you. Go well. Can you learn to do that to the devil? When the devil comes to check your joy, he finds you genuinely happy. You give him a headache. Imagine losing all your wealth, all your children in one day. In one day. And you are still able to say, I know my redeemer lives. And one day I will see him. You still trust in God and hold him. If you can read the Bible very well, it's even what made the devil even more furious. The fact that Job is not reacting to his loss is what made him even more furious. Now, can we go back to trusting God with our all in all? The Bible says children are an inheritance from the Lord. Right? When, 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 when you have disciplined, you have spoken, you have beaten, you have done everything. You keep quiet. Because why? The enemy wants to use them to steal your peace. You keep quiet. I'm telling you. You will come and tell me. Don't give your enemy, the devil, the satisfaction he's looking for. Trust in God fully. Learning to be happy in the midst of the storm. Learning to be happy and be still and hold our peace in the midst of what? In the midst of a storm. Is there, it disarms the enemy completely. Completely. Now can we be happy? Are you sure? Are you sure? That's why I asked you in the beginning, after worrying about our problems, when we wake up the next morning, are they gone? No, they are not. 
but your peace and your joy in the Lord is gone. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you still with me? Amen. Now can I see people who are really and genuinely happy to be and have the presence of the Lord in their lives? Can I see people who are really happy?